Hello one and all and welcome to the Math Magic Show. In this one we're going to take a look at the magic of doing an integral by completing the square, okay, and using the inverse sine function. Let's get going, friends. All right, let me write down the question. So it looks like the following. We have the integral, and let's see, dx, and then here we have a nice square root symbol, and under it we have 8x minus x squared. All right, so the first stage in the process is we want to make this into a form that we can integrate pretty easily. That means we have to transform the expression under the root symbol. Hmm. So let's do here the following then. Take 8x minus x squared, and we're going to complete the square in this part. So let's do that next. All right, so it's going to be negative x squared plus 8x. Now from here, factor negative 1 out, so it's going to be negative 1 on the outside. And then within brackets, you have basically x squared minus 8x this way. And then you continue, so this is going to be a negative here, and then here, you got to complete the square on x squared minus 8x. Now, you should pause the video and try that. Do it! <laughs> However, I will continue, so we're going to have the following then. x minus one half of whatever this is, right, then you square this quantity. That's how I do it, so I can do it fast. So it's the variable minus one half of whatever that is, and it's always squared, and... Given that you're doing math at this level, very likely you know that what you have to do now is, you see, x minus 4, if you multiply that out, right, if you multiply this out, this would give you x squared, and then x times negative 4 times 2, that's how you do it fast, that would give you back the negative 8x, but also at the end, squaring this part, it would give you a positive 16, correct? That positive 16 is not present in x squared minus 8x. It's not present in this original expression right here. So that means what you have to do over here is you have to subtract 16. You have to subtract the square of whatever this is. All right, and then you distribute the one back across this way. So you're going to end up with, let's see, hmm, negative x minus 4 quantity squared and then plus 16, which you can just as well write as, 16, and then minus, within parentheses, x minus 4 quantity squared this way. Good. We've made this into a form. Let me stress this. This 8x minus x squared is the same as this right here. They're interchangeable. The only difference is, why would we do this? Because that expression allows you to do the integral, whereas this one here, this one here, let me maybe attach this node here, right? It's this. That one is doable, so let's take a look. So I'm going to write now the integral, okay, dx, root symbol still, but just replace the quantity under the root symbol with 16 minus, and then let's see, we have x minus 4 quantity squared this way. Now, take a look here. What you can do is write this as the integral, okay, with the dx still, divided by the following. 16. So the 16 is more usefully written here as 4 squared. You want to start writing it so that it becomes visible in terms of a pattern that you can apply to do the anti-differentiation and all that. So, And then minus the x minus 4 quantity squared this way. Continue. Now here, we're going to set u equal to x minus 4. And then du would be equal to just dx. We're going to do a variable substitution, u sub if you like. Good. So then pick up over here next. That's going to give us then, take a look. So dx is going to get replaced with du, and then x minus 4 is going to get replaced with u, right? So this part becomes u, right? and this part becomes du, like this. The, the 4 squared stays, it doesn't change. So you're going to have uh, the antiderivative then of, let's see, du now on top divided by 4 squared, and then integral, okay, so let's see, minus u squared. This conforms to a well-known anti-differentiation formula, so I'm going to write that down below, right here. It's going to look like this once you anti-differentiate, it becomes this, sine inverse of u over a plus c, however, because this is in terms of u, and the original variable is x, you've got to go back to the original variable by replacing u back with x minus 4. So it's going to give us, therefore, sine inverse of 
let's see. Yep. X minus 4. So this A that you see on the bottom, the 4, this plays the role of the A, the 4, okay? And the U, well, the U is U. It's right here, okay? I made it in U, so it's the same thing. So now this is also over 4, and then you're going to add to it plus C. And this is our beautiful masterpiece of an answer right here, friends, okay? There you go. Done in great detail, piece by piece. Math is a beautiful subject. You just have to do a lot of it to really begin to appreciate how amazingly all of the pieces fit together across so many stages. Please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave some comments down below. I will see you in another math magical video.